What we're looking at here is a intersection design within Infraworks and I've set a traffic study area for this intersection and we're just going to run a very simple, a very basic traffic simulation within here. I'm not going to get too far into the weeds about setting different parameters. I'm going to run the simulation and then we're going to be able to play it. But there's all kinds of certain things that you can apply to the simulation that InfoWorks is capable of. You can apply different types of behaviors of the drivers such as whether they're going to be passive or aggressive drivers. You could change the time of day that this is being analyzed from whether it be um, in the middle of the day during rush hour traffic at late at night. Um, there's different types of vehicles obviously you could apply to to add to this so it's not just a truck a bus and a and one car you could apply different types of vehicles you could also apply different restrictions to the lanes such as HOV lanes um, bus only lanes turning only lanes and so on and so forth but as you can see um, I'm changing some of the speeds just to show you how we can play with this analysis once it's defined and set up but it's there's a lot it's a very powerful analysis tool within Infoworks. So my question was how do I take this and bring it into Torch? And the simple answer is bring it into 3ds Max first. We can apply all sorts of animation within here. So on the bottom, we set that auto key so that it will automatically pick up the movements of the vehicles. What I started out with was a basic FBX export from that InfoWorks model, brought it into 3ds Max, and now we're going to apply some animation and movements and rotations to these vehicles. So I'm starting at the halfway mark, and I'm going to show you how I could take it from this spot in the beginning of, uh, well, at the, at the 30 second mark, and I'm going to bring it to its end location at the 60 second mark. And you can do a very similar setup like this within the Torch environment. The only caveat to that is it will only account for the start and the end location. So if you want to, since it, this vehicle isn't actually going to be traveling in a straight line, it's kind of curved and we're going to have to tweak the actual path of it with between the, the start and stop it's easier to manage this within 3ds max you can certainly do it within torch but you're gonna have to set up 30 different scenes accounting for start and stop locations of this vehicle and any other vehicle that you're gonna apply the animation to so within 3ds max super simple super easy to change and adjust this path from start to stop and as you can see as I go through each frame within that range I'm able to move and rotate as needed. And if I play it, you can see the whole animation going. Now what we're going to do, just like we did with InfraWorks, with the InfraWorks model, we're going to do the same here. We're going to export to an FBX. Now the trick with this, one thing you want to make sure when you export from 3ds Max, is you want to make sure that you check the bake animation setting to account for the animation and embed it within that FBX model. This way when you bring it into the Torch environment all that animation is in there, it's baked, and and you'll be able to run those animations within the augmented reality environment. So we're going to go through this process of exporting and once this is exported we're going to bring it into torch using our Dropbox integration and as you can see on the left I'm clicking on traffic and main scene so I've set up two different scenes the main scene is my static FBX and the traffic is the animated version and I've added some images like this go image uh, to interact with my models to change scenes so if I click on go it changes to the animated version and if I click on this other image some of you guys might recognize that it's back from back to the future um, it gives you a little back to the future effect but as you can see the animation was carried over it applies 
to your augmented reality simulation and you can look down each lane to see the animation being run. And that's it. Super simple, super easy. Hope you enjoyed.